Hi everybody, I am Annabel Trampurcar, multidisciplinary artist from Spain. I am working different disciplines uh, like painting, performance, installation, ceramics, and I'm going to show you a bit of my work, my process, and my thoughts about art. Hope you enjoy it. I always wanted to work on an arts field. I always love to paint. I feel every child likes to paint and create and imagine and just some of us keep on doing that. So that's why I decided to study arts and on and on everything was built together. I started painting as it was the materials I had closer to me. I live in a very small town, so this was the most accessible work to do. And after studying, I started creating different installations and approaching also performance art. And in the last years, I'm also working on ceramics as in my town, there is a big history of ceramic arts. On my work, you can find different topics, um, mostly focused on human being and how we move on society, how culture affects us. And lastly, I am working a lot on feminist topics, studying different writers and different artists that works on this topic and focusing on different specific ideas inside this. In the last proposals, I come back to the roots and I start thinking about the place where I live, about the people that was here with me, my family and so on. So I think I came back to a more comfortable and warm topic in the last years. The projects and the proposals I am working on now are more focused in the hometown, in my roots, in the people that surround me since ever, like my grandma, my parents and how I feel the life living in a more intimate space. Trying to work this from a very singular feeling, an intimate one, that I feel it's the way that you can approach to the, to the most of the people as the most intimate feelings can be the more universal, the, the feelings that more people will feel close to. Being an artist nowadays has different different challenges, I would say. I feel one of them, it's like the idea of velocity. Everything goes very fast nowadays and everybody is in a rush and the speed is on our daily basis. That's why I try to come back to this intimate space and little town way of living to approach this challenge of actual society and speed in actual society. And I also feel it's a challenge to work with and against and together with the social media because this impacts us and numbers usually make us think in a specific way. So I think it's challenging to to be in touch with social media that makes us approach to more people and that makes everything more democratic, but that also can make us fall into them. So to have a good relation with with these things, it's also a challenge for artists right now. I love different kind of art, so I feel that I have influence for a lot of different art artists and art workers and creatives. 
I love Sdevlin work. I feel she's such a creative person focusing on different topics and making them grow and making them feel very close to everybody like she really approaches to the to the people that looks at her works. I am also impressed in the first woman artist working in feminism specific topics like I love Judy Chicago and some performers like Ana Mendieta and how they work about different things that goes from the very specific and intimate feelings and ways of living till some more historical, historical works. As a person working on arts, I feel the most important advice I could give somebody that would try to approach to this field would be to to feel free because I feel art it's a bit therapeutic. So you need to be free to work on true work, to work on a honest way, because I feel this is the way to, to grow your work, to make better work, just to be yourself and to try to do whatever you think you have to, to develop, to work about, to express, and also to be focused on that and to study a lot and to work on it and to make rehearsal and experiment and study that sometimes we forget about this more slow part that goes on the research and the different previous stages of producing artwork. I'm not sure what I would say about uh, the specific techniques and the different experiments to, to develop personal ideas and I think the most important is to know what you want to express and then deciding what material would express this better. I'm always trying to experiment with the materials that feel closer to the experience I want to share with the people. So lastly, I am working in different clays or different sands. And that's only because I feel my experience with them will approach better the expression I want for my next work. So just experimenting with whatever you have close. It doesn't need to be innovative or different. It just need to, to feel truth. When I work, I used to have music, but when I do research, I used just to be influenced by books and trying to make research looking at other artists or going to exhibitions then I prefer a bit of silence to to better get the feelings on that when I paint or when I'm working on my projects I like to have some rhythm that helps me moving forward when public sees your work, it's always very special because you know you, you reach them. Like every time you do that with any work because when people approach, they already have like some kind of interest. So even when you see, that, see them enjoying it more, liking it more, or when even when they are a bit bored about what you are showing, it's interesting because you always learn. It's like a dialogue without words. And I think this is the special thing about visual arts, that you can speak in non-regular basis. You can speak with other languages. And this always moves different parts, no? And this is, for me, a way of reflection, a way of thinking about things in a different way, a, a way of questioning 
everything, every topic. So for me, art is a way of thinking deeply and it is in the way that I produce the art, in the way that I do my practice and my research. And for me, it's also the way that public speaks to me after watching the work. So every time public approaches with a question or with a comment, I really appreciate it. I always learn about the topics and about the art and about my practice with the public. And before leaving, I would like to thank Art by Artist platform. And thank you all for watching this video of my presentation. Thank you for the interview, for your interest and for being there. See you soon.